who's even playing this game anymore? Really, Walrus? Really? Yes, really. Crisis 2 Basic Training, fellas. I thought I'd help you guys out. For those of you that are new to this game, perhaps maybe for those of you that are struggling or frustrated with it, I thought I'd give you guys some basic tips and tricks. What's up, everybody? Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. So we're going to look at the nano suit aspects and all their glory and... Uh, how to effectively use them. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the targeting system, real similar to, bat to the Battlefield series. Up on the D-pad for console players is going to bring up the ability for you to mark enemy teammates so that your team will have a better idea, better understanding of what direction they're coming from and where they are on the map. And right here, you're going to see that it doesn't matter if they're cloaked or if they're not. This guy decides to go into cloak mode, but he is still busted. Now, one way you can combat this is to upgrade the blind spot nano suit module. That will prevent you from being targeted. Next thing that we're going to look at is nanovision. Down on the D-pad is going to bring up this extremely valuable nano suit aspect. And you guys are going to see me throughout the next series of clips firing from when I'm in stealth. Now that's typically a big no-no. However, in my experience, using nano, the nanovision with the stealth, with stealth mode in close quarters situations and on dark maps, um, it can be extremely effective even though it does, yes, and I, I will talk about this uh, coming up here in a second, deplete almost, it depletes all your energy as you see right there. You take a good look at my energy bar. But... If you've got good game awareness, if you've been playing this game for a little while, you put some effort into it, you're going to know exactly when that's acceptable and when that's not acceptable. And like I said, in my experience, in situations like this, dark maps, close quarter situations, nine times out of ten, I can come out on top, pick up a kill, re-energize my suit, and be about my way. And the next thing that we're going to look at is armoring up in a gunfight. Now, you're going to see right here, this guy is not the best shot. However, if I wouldn't have armored up, if I would have hesitated right there, um... I probably would have been done for. Luckily, I'm able to armor up, uh, get a couple of bullets into him, re-energize my suit, reload, and win the gunfight. That's really what it all what it comes down to, you guys. I don't exactly know um, what it is about Crisis 2 or the assault rifles or the weapons that I primarily like to use, but the recoil is amazing and it's a lot of fun. Crisis 2, I think I'm, I have the you know the most effective and efficient accuracy concerning any FPS game that I've played, and I just I love it. So um, the next thing that we're going to look at right here, you guys, is stealth kills. Now, if you want to be successful at this game, it does take a little bit of effort, and it does take a little bit of practice. Learning exactly when and how to transition in and out of armor mode and in and, out, and, in and out of stealth mode and properly use uh, those nano suit attributes. These next couple of clips is just me getting some, uh, some really fun assassination kills. Those are just a blast to, to get, you guys. It's really fun to sneak up on somebody in, in stealth mode, and uh, right here I actually steal my teammate's kill, but hey, it's all in good fun, and uh, that's really what it's all about. So right here we're going to take a really good look at exactly what I mean by transitioning effectively in and out of stealth and in and out of armor. So I'm in stealth. I go ahead and see, I see this guy right here, transition into armor mode, and then look at my energy bar. I got plenty of energy left over to transition back into stealth, evade this guy that's shooting at me, pick up my dog tag, continue my kill streak, and go about my way. Now let's look right here what happens to your energy bar specifically when you shoot in stealth. So um, luckily, I've got a teammate helping me out. I'm able to win this gunfight, but look at my energy bar. I have no energy left over, and if there would have been another, another enemy teammate around the corner or in, the, in close proximity that sees me, one or two bullets and I am out of commission, my kill streak is gone and I'm dead. Next thing that we're going to talk about is your secondary. Now in this particular game I'm using Loadout Pro which allows me to, uh, to use another primary weapon as my secondary and I like to use the Jackal if I use this uh, particular suit module because um, quite often I'll find myself in close quarter situations. I've got extended mags on the Scarab right now and I empty just about the entire clip. Definitely not going to win this gunfight with that Scarab. Switch to the Jackal and I'm able to pick up a nice two piece. Um, got my armor up and this guy can't hit the broadside of a barn. Luckily, I was able to, to go ahead and continue my kill streak in that situation. Right here, I get a couple of bullets after I pick up my first kill into the second enemy. Instead of reloading, I armor up, switch to my automatic pistol, and I go ahead and pick up a nice another two-piece. Now, the next thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys is the importance of movement. Now, we've got the slide attribute in Crisis 2, and it's a lot of fun to use. You can melee in it, as you saw me do right there. You can shoot while you're sliding. It's just a whole lot of fun to do, and it makes it, makes it really difficult for enemy teammates to hit you when you're when you're sliding and when you're up in the air like I am right now. Go ahead and switch to the secondary and uh, outplay my opponent. 
So there it is, you guys. Crisis 2 basic tips and tricks concerning the nano suit and how to use it effectively. For those of you guys that enjoy this game on a consistent basis, for those of you guys that don't, please leave me some feedback in the comment section. Share your thoughts and opinions with me concerning this game. And for those of you guys that are not playing this game, hopefully this video will entice you to give it another try, to go rent it, to go buy it, whatever. Because once you get the hang of it, once you put the effort into it and develop your skill concerning Crisis 2, man, oh man, it's fun. It's really hard to put down. I'm well on my way to a thousand subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much. You're the best. I've got more videos coming up, and I will talk to you later. Peace out.